Welcome back. We are doing a recording of today's Godly Blessing, that is 8th of December's Godly Blessing. Here, Supreme Father is trying to tell us that it is important to spread out love for everybody. No matter how they are and what they are, or what they have become in this Iron Age world or in this Kali Yuga, it is very important, very crucial to stick on to this feeling, you can say that, or you can say it as a behavior, or you can say it as a habit. Why is it important? We're going to explore that now. God says, may you become equal to the Father and let your drishti and your feelings be full of love for all souls. The only method to become equal to the Father, the Creator, is that from the corporate onwards, right now the irony is going on, Around 2500 years back, the corporate started and it spanned around for 1250 years. Now, 1250 years of even Iron Age is coming to an end. So, God says, from the corporate onwards, you have been insulting the Father so much and yet he only loved you. Insulting the Father in what way? We are calling him somebody who has been living in all human beings, even the ants, even the animals, even in the worst of places. We are saying God is everywhere. So it's indirectly saying or telling everybody that he's even in the dirtiest of places, even in the most vicious of animals, vicious of human beings, even most dangerous animals. So his God is there in everything and everyone. So God says, you've been insulting me. Because I don't live in everybody. If I was there in everybody, nothing or there wouldn't be any violence, there wouldn't be any hatred, there wouldn't be any anger, and there wouldn't be any kind of disturbance in the world or corruption in the world. If I was residing in someone, whether it's animals or whether it's human beings. So you've been insulting me because I don't stay here, I stay up, up above. In the first world out of the three worlds, beyond this physical world, he stays beyond this physical world. And that's why he says, you've been insulting me. You've been telling me that I'm into dogs and animals and human presence. Yet, he only loves us. And that's what God is doing. He gives us the wisdom. It's like a child insulting his father and the father is still giving him guidance, still support him, still trying to <clears throat> guide him in the right manner. So that is what God says, I'm doing to you. I'm giving you that wisdom which you need or that light which you need to overcome the present hardships of your life even though you have insulted me so what's the benefit in knowing this so follow the father and become equal to him no matter what souls are like let your drishti and your feelings be full of love drishti means the way we see them our feelings towards them be full of love no matter how they are this is known as being loving to all just like the creator the father whatever someone or whether someone insults you or dislikes you have love for everyone and that is the purest and the fastest method to overcome any karmic account or what we call it as hisab kitab or give and take of karmic accounts somebody is giving you something which is dirty something which is foul and you give back something which is beautiful and which is nice. Even if it's not something physical, you're doing it through your mind, through your thoughts. Having good wishes for them. And that itself breaks your karmic bondage with that soul. That's the secret. God then says, no matter what your relatives may say or do, and they do, let your feelings be pure and benevolent for all. No matter what they say, no matter how much they laugh at you or what names they call you but God says it is important to have pure feelings and have benevolent benevolent feelings for everyone this is known as being equal to the father there is no other method to be called as God's child or God's creation now here child means child of knowledge God's knowledge is what we receive and once we imbibe it we become his children not physical children but the children of knowledge so that's what God wants us to do and to know more about this beautiful power which you can achieve only through meditation and by regular classes 
and understanding by cleaning the soul within that you will be able to give out that love no matter what for more details do join the prama kumari centers go ahead and do the seven day course it's all over there it's there for you it's waiting for you with the som shanti